Using an Android-based watch gives you a lot of flexibility. You have access to a growing number of apps from multiple app stores, but you're not limited to only apps in the app stores. You can sideload APK files outside of the Play Store, and even download apps directly from App Developer's web page. In this video, I'll show how you can download APK file to your iPhone and then sideload it to a Samsung watch. Even though the video shows how to do this on a Samsung watch, you can use the same procedure for other Android devices. I'll be using the Bugjager iOS app to accomplish this. I created the Bugjager app because I wanted to have the tools that I used for app development available directly on my Android phone. The specific tool in this case is ADB. Bugjager first existed only for the Android platform, but later I made it available also for iOS. In this video I'll show how to use the version for iOS for installing APK files. Before connecting your watch to Bugjager, you first need to enable developer options on your watch. To enable developer options, go to Watch Settings. Then go to About Watch, then Software Information. Then tap multiple times on Software Version. After this, developer options should appear in Watch Settings. Before connecting Bugjager to your watch for the first time, you need to pair it. Pairing is done only once. You'll be then able to connect to watch whenever you want without the need to pair again. To pair watch with Bugjager, first go to Developer Options and enable ADB debugging on your watch. Then go to Wireless Debugging and enable it. Confirm that you trust your Wi Fi network. Then tap on Pair New Device. Now in Bugjager app, tap on Connect New Device Wirelessly. Then tap on Pair New Device. Enter the IP address, pairing port, and pairing code that is shown on your watch. After you tap on pair, a message saying that you've paired successfully should appear in Bugjager. Unfortunately, my watch sometimes seems to have issues with pairing. This doesn't seem to be related to Bugjager. I had same issues when pairing ADB from my computer. The pairing either got stuck on watch, or in some cases the watch even rebooted by itself. What seemed to help was to disable Bluetooth on watch, so that the watch app on your phone was not connected and to try to disable and re-enable Wi-Fi connection after a fresh reboot of the watch. You might need to try multiple times until the pairing succeeds. Once you've been able to pair Bugjigger with your watch, you can establish wireless ADB connection. To connect Bugjigger with watch, go to Connect Wirelessly screen. Here you should enter the IP address and port shown in wireless debugging on your watch. Note that the port will be different than the port that you use for pairing. Once you've entered the IP address and port, tap on the Connect button on bottom right of the screen. After a successful connection, your watch should appear on the initial screen in Bugjigger. To demonstrate how to install an APK file, I decided to download the Signal app. They provide the APK file directly on their website. You can download it directly using Safari browser on your iPhone. Now in Bugjigger's device list, tap on the watch. Switch to the Packages tab by swiping to the right. Once you've downloaded your APK file, tap on the plus button in Packages tab inside of Bugjigger. Then pick the downloaded APK file. Depending on the size of APK file in your Wi-Fi connection, the installation can take some time. After successful installation, the Signal app should appear in the device list. You should now be able to start the app on the watch. Installing APK files is just one of many things you'll be able to do with Bugjager. I encourage you to try other features. I'll try to publish more videos that will explain the other things that you can do with Bugjager. That's it for now. You can download Bugjigger using the App Store link in video description. Thanks for watching.